Hey everybody, it's Jimmy King with Your News Detroit. Uh, getting ready for week 11 of the NFL uh, regular season. On the eve that Michigan loses to Ohio State for the sixth straight year, and uh, Michigan State is getting killed as we speak, 35-7, uh, to 7, I think, last, last time I checked the score was. A little bit of news I want to bring for you first. Scott Sizemore was added to the Detroit Tigers uh, Major League uh, roster uh, a couple days ago. That's pretty telling that Plaza de Polanco is going to be released uh, and not pursued in free agency. This week, uh, all right, Detroit has the Cleveland Browns at Ford Field. Uh, the last time the Lions played a poor uh, team like that, St. Louis Rams. We all know what happened there. The Rams won 17 to 10 in that one. I'm still a little bit concerned about how the Lions always put up 10 against uh, the St. Louis Rams, but somehow managed to put up. 10 against the Minnesota Vikings as well. Let's just hope that that trend doesn't hold and the Lions can score a little bit more than 10 points against uh, against Cleveland. Eric Mangini's team is, is, is not very good defensively, so hopefully uh, Kevin Jones, excuse me, Kevin Smith can get back uh, to his old stuff and start running the ball a little bit more effectively, not fumbling as much, maybe putting it in the end zone a couple times and see if Matt Stafford can do that as well. Cleveland's uh, secondary isn't that good. What other games? we got Indianapolis at Baltimore. Indianapolis came off a fantastic win last week, beating the Patriots uh, 35-34 after uh, trailing New England 34 to, or excuse me, 31 to 14 at one point in the game. Uh, the Indianapolis playing Baltimore this week. I'm personally going to go with the Baltimore Ravens. I think New England uh, exposed a lot of weaknesses in the Indianapolis defense, especially in the secondary. Plus, Ray Rice is a lot better running back than the Patriots have on their rosters. So I'm going to take Baltimore there. That is my upset pick of the week. Um, we also got the Jets at the Patriots. I uh, think the Patriots are going to win that one. How about Cincinnati beating Pittsburgh last week? How Did anyone watch that game? The final score, I think the, I think the final score was 19-12 uh, to 12 or something like that, 15-12. to 12. All I know is that no offensive touchdowns were scored all game, and Cincinnati beat Pittsburgh at their own game. Uh, I thought that was pretty... Uh, pretty enticing, the fact that Pittsburgh's defense is usually prided on not allowing any other offenses to score. And, well, they didn't let Cincinnati's offense to score, but Cincinnati's defense was playing the role of the Steelers in that game, not allowing them to score at all, just uh, four field goals. That's a lot of scoring, but it's only three points a field goal, 12 points. That's a fantastic job by Cincinnati's defense. They're going to be uh, – Cincinnati's going to be playing against Oakland this week, and obviously I'm going to be taking Cincinnati in that game. Uh, for the rest of my picks, you can check out my article. I'm going to be talking more about the Tigers' free agency and some some of the things Dave Dombrowski said in this last week um, regarding the Tigers' free agency, what their needs are. He said a couple things about the bullpen and the outfield as the two main things the Tigers need to work on. My opinion is the middle infield. You need to start getting that uh, shaped up a little bit, especially at shortstop. I'm not sure about you, but I'm not... I don't really want Ramon Santiago, who hits 233 with no power at all, to be our shortstop of the future, if you will. Now, Scott Sizemore, I'm okay with letting him fly, giving him a chance at the major leagues. But if that doesn't work, uh, the Tigers are going to be in a real hole, especially in that middle infield position. From uh, Eastern Michigan University in my dorm rooms, I'm Jimmy King. Uh, check out my column this week. Like I said, I break down every football game that's uh, that's going to be happening on Sunday in preparation for next uh Next week's Thursday, I guess, Thursday football spree. It's going to be uh, quite a good time. Uh, a lot of games. I think there's four or five games on Thursday, Thanksgiving Turkey Day, that uh, I'll be watching. And uh, my picks next week will be coming on Wednesday instead of uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning. So uh, look for that column coming at a uh, much earlier time. From Eastern Michigan, I'm Jimmy King with Your News Detroit. Look forward to talking to you guys in the future.